Cell Wizard is a library of hundreds of elements animated frame by frame, completely editable and modular, made to save your time. If you didn't buy a packet yet and you are just trying the demo, it's really simple. You just open the demo folder, navigate through the files and double click on the animation you want to import. If you already have a packet to activate, just put your email and your license code. Just wait some seconds for the packet to be installed and there you go. As you can see inside our library you have different categories and inside every folder you can preview the item before importing them. To import an animation, just double click on it and wait for a few seconds for it to appear in your project panel. Ok, once you have imported your elements, if they are a part of a modular packet, like the Morphing Elements library or the Hand Gesture library, you simply drag them in your timeline, creating your sequence. You just need to put the morphing modules after the morph out modules. In this way you can create in a few seconds these really cool uh, transformation sequences with more than 2000 possible combinations. The next step is having them interact with your motion. Here's a little example, I imported this modular animation from the hand gesture packets, but I want to extend the range of motion and make them interact with some graphic elements. So I am parenting them to a null object, so that I can change the rotation and position a little bit for both of them. Now I'm going to add some uh, motion graphic elements. These are obviously just examples, you can use them in more complex situations and uh, in any context that you want. The next important thing about this library is that every element is completely editable. To change the visual style, just select the composition you want to edit from the essential graphics panel. You can change stroke thickness, color of the stroke and the color of the filling and of the shadow. You can also turn on and off their visibility, but in this case I am leaving it on. And now I want to apply the same changes also to the other elements. And as you can see I saved the, in my library a color palette so that the colors are always the same. The last important tip is how to control timing. As you can see, not always the elements that you import will have a matching timing with each other or with your scene or with your motion. So to fix that, just uh, select the elements and go to Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping. And then you can set the keyframes to control the time span of the animation. In this case, I need the hand to stay with the finger clicked for all the duration the buttons take to close, so I'm adding more space between the central keyframe. 
and then I'm moving them to have the length of the movement match. I also want to fix the position of the finger so it is aligned with the center of the button. Uh, I want to fix the graph editor just a little bit and that's it, we are done. Thanks for watching, feel free to visit the Cell Wizard store, it's an amazing tool for freelance motion designers to save a bunch of time on your next motion graphics project.